Here I'll be showing how to use basic lights, light probe and light map space. Begin by selecting the entity tool and placing a new entity. Press escape to return to select mode, then double click your entity to open its properties. Set its class to light spot. Now let's change the color to a slightly off white. If you want the light to have a wider angle, scroll down to inner and outer cone angle and increase those values. Position your light and rotate it to face the ground. Press T to go to move mode and duplicate the light by holding shift and moving it. Move the duplicate light to be below the original, then open its object properties. Change its class to light omni. This light will be used to brighten up the room a little bit. Set its brightness to a low value like 0.1 or 0.2. Go down to Baked Light Indexing and disable it. This makes the light effectively free to render. You should not have more than four lights with indexing enabled shining on one surface. If you change the camera to Baked Lighting Complexity mode, surfaces will be shown in a colour indicating the number of indexed lights affecting them. Black means 0, red means 1, orange 2, yellow 3 and white is 4. Cyan means it is over the maximum and you will need to reduce the number of indexed lights on that surface. Dynamic lights should have indexing enabled. Next we want to add a light probe and a light map space. Add a new entity and change its class to env combined light probe volume. This will handle reflections and improve indirect lighting. Place it at the centre of your room, around player eye level. Use the select tool and drag the coloured arrows to extend the volume to match the space it's in. You should place one in each visually distinct area of your map, so you can have one encompass a few rooms if the lighting within them is similar. Now select the block tool and create a new mesh. Expand the mesh to cover any area the player can get to. Open the material browser, search for light map and select the one that shows light map player space. Make sure this material is applied to your new mesh. If it isn't, drag the active material onto the mesh. This mesh won't be shown in game, but will prioritize the lighting in these areas when you compile. You can hide the light map player space mesh so it doesn't get in your way whilst doing other things. Open the Viz Groups menu through View, Toolbars, Auto Viz Groups. Open the Tool Brushes dropdown and uncheck Light Map Space. Remember to re-enable it when you compile. If you want to achieve effects like light flickering, go to Style in your light's properties and choose from the Appearance dropdown menu. These flickering effects will make the light dynamic, so remember to have indexing enabled. You can mess with the colour and brightness values until you find exactly the lighting you want.